Whether it's from a car, plane, or amusement park ride, motion sickness can turn a summer outing into a mess. Let's go to Mayo Clinic to find out what causes motion sickness and what you can do about it. Feeling a little dizzy, a little queasy. No, I'm not gonna throw up. But admittedly, Joy Goblish has, not from the nausea she feels on a swing, but from the motion of the ocean. I got so sick. I was literally face down on the deck. Joy's in good company. Almost everyone experiences motion sickness at one time or another. Unfortunately, Joy feels sick a lot in boats, planes, and on rides at the fair. Holding on the twirly, double twirly, triple twirly ones. Absolutely not. Motion sickness happens when the balance center in your inner ear senses something different than what you see. For example, if you're in a moving car and you're trying to focus on reading, your brain doesn't know how to get the two things in balance. Dr. Avinash Virk says the remedy is all about stability. What that means is you can either try and be in the part of the vehicle that tends to be more stable. In a car, get behind the wheel or in the front seat. In a plane, try to sit near the wings. On a boat, stay near the center. If you know that you are going to, you have some degree of uh, sensitivity to motion sickness, it's probably better for you to take some measures to prevent it. Such as these medications, Dramamine, Bonine, or Antivert are available over the counter. Patches and other medications by prescription. Because as Joy found out after a bad episode, preventing motion sickness is better than having to cure it. And it took about 24 hours for me to stop throwing up. It was just, it was awful. Joy says medication helps ward off motion sickness and it also helps lessen symptoms. Other things that help include getting fresh air and focusing on the horizon. And once she's out of the situation, lying down and closing her eyes gets Joy back in balance. And Dr. Virk says some of her patients have had success with wristbands, but really there's no hard data to prove that they work. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.